Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All sorts of craziness happened on Raw, and we just had to come through and talk about this right quick. Um, man, oh man. How's everybody feeling about this news, man? Seth Rollins shot the club up, for real. Yeah, he shot the club up, all right. Now Miss Becky got a baby. Mm Mm-hmm. Now Brenda's got a baby, Becky's got a baby, but damn. Ooh. Yeah, I just... Hey, congrats to them. I mean, life happens, man. Right. Oftentimes, oftentimes that's when most pregnancies happen. Yeah. Yeah. When you're planning on it. And that's one thing that um, I definitely wanted to um, bring up because seeing the reaction um, from everybody, um, not just us, but the IWC as a whole, you know, but... You got certain people angry, certain people mad about it. And there's a life outside of that ring. <laughs> there exactly. definitely is. If you exactly. guys are praise Roman Reigns for saying, I'm not going to endanger my newborn kids because it's bigger than just this shit. And you got to give Becky the same praise. Yeah, yeah. you got to give, give her the same room. Mm-hmm. You got to. Yeah, yeah I, but this is how I look at it. Number one, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off my filter a little bit. Number one, number one, most of these cats that are all mad and stuff, uh, Seth Rollins just literally torpedoed your fantasy. Number one, I suspect. Number two, y'all probably ain't never had no pussy. Number three, you probably ain't never had no kids. Number four, you would die. Most likely, you wouldn't have a chance in hell at Becky Lynch anyway. At 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 any point in any era, I'm talking about even River Dancing Becky. You wouldn't have had a chance with her, let alone Becky Lynch, the man. <laughs> well, shoot, I don't know about that last part. I I always say there's always a chance for any man. Look at K Fed. There's. <laughs> All I'm going to say about that. Yeah, but the rest well, of the points, I agree. I say unlikely. Unlikely, yeah. It's not impossible. So, but for everyone whose feelings he just hurt, keep, keep, keep the hope up, man. And then, you know, Unk says, man, yeah, fuck no hope. That's the real reason they mad. <laughs> uh, homie just ruined their fantasy. Yeah, like, that's hilarious to me. Mad. Because weren't these the same people saying she needs to lose and she needs to go away? And now she finally mm-hmm. goes away and they're mad. I can't yep. it personally, but I have a question for both of y'all. And I wrote this earlier in the chat. I wrote, uh, because of the IWC's experience with pregnancies, it's typically a kayfabe angle, whether it's Kane and Lita or Staff and Trips. Brie Bella was real, but that had been planned for a long time. And Brie Bella wasn't this flagship competitor like a Becky Lynch. So yep. do you mm-hmm. expect that only maybe even 10% of fans are going to really understand that it's over? Yeah, I think here's what I said, um, um, Prince. I mean, with Becky Lynch getting like, it's, she's going to be gone for at least over a year. It's going to, you won't see her back. Longer than that. Longer than that, man. I say she, at least a year. Not just gonna pop out the baby. It just, you know, I'm just gonna go get back in the ring. She got at least a good year yeah. to win her being a mom, man. She's not yeah. just home, the kid, you know. Home girl, home girl is about to be on that Trish Stratus, Mickey mm-hmm. James schedule. I'm gonna say you're not gonna see her back, man. Like I said, she's gonna be on that part time schedule once she's able yeah. to come back and if she gets her body back in at least somewhat decent shape. Right. So. So, so anyone thinking, oh, she's just going to be going to get, no, look at any other woman in that business after they have kids. Nah, not saying it's impossible, but given the schedule that they work, I'm not seeing it, man. Not nah, look, the, man. the most recent example was Brie Bella, and that took, oh, and she was gone for almost two years. She retired at WrestleMania 32 that first time, and then she didn't come back until the Royal Rumble 2018. Right. So that was basically close to 
for close to two years. Yeah, everybody. Mm-hmm. Vicky James. I mean, people will point to the TNA thing, but TNA was in the impact zone at that time. Yeah. You know, they're in one location. She's not going coast to coast, you know, flying everywhere with that schedule. Yeah. Look that was one thing about mm-hmm. for all the for all the bad parts about impact wrestling, TNA, that was the one thing good about it. Most of their shows was in one central location. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They didn't have to go on the road that much. Right. And this this is a big new thing because every other time we've seen anyone get pregnant, they've always kind of been in the background when it happened, whether it was a Tamina, um, was it Candace Michelle at the time, if I remember correctly? Mm-hmm. They weren't the prime time player. They were just kind of they would just chill oh. in the cut. And so when they got pregnant, it wasn't that huge of a deal, you know? Mm-hmm. But, who, man, this was a blow right here, man. This was a gut punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, mm-hmm. Becky and Seth. But, yeah, as far as business, yeah, it was a bit of a gut punch. Yeah. Because let's be honest, whether, whether she needed to lose or not, Becky Lynch was one of their star players. Yeah. Not just, fe- not just female, but just star player overall yeah period i mean on a positive note she gets to leave one time you know and as we said this is probably it as far as her having this sustained you know power but to keep it on something positive what are your top three favorite moments or memories of becky top three for me um, the first time I really saw her wrestle, mm. and that was, and that was that four way with <laughs> during the middle of the Charlotte Page feud. Mm-hmm. Um, when Page won number one contendership, it was the first time I really saw her wrestle on Raw. Her, Sasha Banks, Brie Bella, and Page. Page won the match. But the next day, most people were not talking about Paige winning the match. They were actually talking more about, wow, did you see Becky Lynch? And most of it was fans that didn't watch NXT. Mm. This was almost Mm -hmm. like her coming out, you know, debut party. I mean, granted, she had been there for a few months, but you hadn't really seen a real good performance out of her until that match. On the main roster. Not on the main roster because they kind of hit her in the background during all the PCV madness. Uh, for oh, yeah. My number three on this list is Hell in a Cell with Sasha. That's number three on my list. Okay, so you're asking like, are you asking like top three Becky matches? Yeah, or not, not just moments, just anything. Just mo- moments, matches. Yeah, matches. Moments. Could be anything. Okay, well, for me, honestly, top three Becky moments for me would probably be when she, like, when she first won the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship at uh, at uh, at Backlash 2016, mm. um, I'm in between. I guess the second thing for me would probably be the probably be the match she had with Charlotte at Evolution 2018 because that's probably one of the one of the best women's matches I've seen. Right. I got it's between that and then the one she had with Sasha. I think it's her best match, the one that held the sale twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. It's like so I would give I think I would give a slight edge to the one at Evolution personally, but I have to watch both matches again. But, yeah. but then and then probably my favorite moment of all time for Becky Lynch, honestly, would probably have to be when she when she first became the man, when she had that iconic photo of her with the with the blood going down her face and she's holding up, got her hands in the, you know, like, come at me, bro, post, blood dripping down her face. That's, that's, that's an I, image that's going to live in, live in WWE lore forever. So, so yeah. she has her iconic moment right there with, with that image alone. So, so. Yeah, I actually only named one. I didn't name the other two. Yeah, what you got, huh? The other two memories, big memories, would be when she snapped and turned on Charlotte. Or, or, um, ra- or depending on how you look at it, or when she finally said, I had enough of your crap, Charlotte. Either way, mm-hmm. it's what she did that. Mm-hmm. And 
no, number one moment. Ooh, now I mean, there's so many. I mean, you could say when she main evented with Charlotte and um, Ronda Rousey. Well, I have my opinions on that, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to keep this positive. <sighs> Believe it or not, the first time she won the SmackDown Women's title. Wow. Especially the really interview. Went up there. It's especially the interview she did afterwards. I mean, she just had such joy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was almost infectious. I mean, normally when somebody comes at me with that much joy around, I mean, I don't steal their joy, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. When you talk about that moment more than I do, you talk about that moment more than I do. Yeah, he does. With, with her, I didn't get that vibe. I didn't get that feeling. With her, it felt genuine. That's probably why if she came around me with that, I probably would not be annoyed. Mm. In fact, I would probably be like, hey, Becky, what's up? Because she feels genuine. There's a lot of people that do that and it's a, with me. And they're, it. I don't say it out loud, but I'm like, God, you're annoying. Right. I don't get that vibe with Becky Lynch. Out of all the horsewomen, and yes, I'm counting Tessa Blanchard as well. Of all the horsewomen, if I met them in person, Becky Lynch would probably feel the most approachable. More than Bailey? Out of all all of them. More than Bailey? Yeah. Wow. She would actually feel the most approachable to me. Probably even more than Bailey, and that's saying something. Yeah. Bailey is the nice one. one. <laughs> she's yeah, nice. the, yeah, Bailey's the one you would think is probably everybody was assume with the one who's most down to earth. Yeah. But I think Becky just has a just a genuine spirit about her and you right. know she, she just feels Irish, real. She's just an Irish chick who's very into, you know, grunge music and makes a bunch of puns, man. She's pretty she's just a cool chick, somebody you can just hang out with, you know. Right. Well my top three, I'm gonna go quick. Hell in the Cell, number three. Number two would be the Royal Rumble when she won that. I thought that was really, mm-hmm. really dope. And number one is the Invasion, the Irish War Paint. That That's just like Rel said. It's iconic. That's my top three memories of her. And, ooh, snapshots of those because I'm not saying she can't pull a Serena Williams and make a comeback with this whole thing, but it's doubtful because of the schedule. I'm not saying she mm-hmm. can't pop in and, you know, do the thing and everything, but her doing that, I mean, that's a maybe or a maybe not, or you know. I don't think she. I don't think she's coming back for nah, you. You don't just have a kid and just you know put them off to the side like Goku did Gohan, so you can go train. You don't no, do that. No, you don't do no, that. No. Even, Mick, no. even Mickey James, and Mickey James technically is still an active wrestler, but even she didn't come back full time after having her son. You only saw her here and there. And even when she came back to WWE, she only wrestled a certain number of dates. Right. Right. I mean, ooh, it it's it sucks, but I, I guess for the fans of hers, it's a blessing in disguise because now she gets to go out on top. So it just sucks, you know, mm-hmm. that it happened, you mm-hmm. know. But I don't know. Does it really suck that it happened right now? Because everyone was just complaining and crying about her being on top. Mm-hmm. I, well, I, even I, we were a little bit. I wasn't. Some of I us mean, were. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I mean, I wanted her to. I wanted her to. I kind of wanted her to kind of lose the belt just to get something fresh from her character. I was. That's all I really wanted. I was still a fan. I yeah, didn't want something. To be, and, to, and to be honest. I was just so stunned. I was just so stunned that they didn't pull the trigger at WrestleMania with her and Shayna Baszler. But word behind the scenes is Vince McMahon is not big on Shayna Baszler. That's probably why she didn't win. Well, I mean, y'all know how I roll when it comes to championships. Until you prove you're better than the other person, you shouldn't be holding it. And to me, Shayna Baszler still hasn't proven that she's better at Becky Lynch on a microphone, in the ring, marketability, athleticism. 
I haven't seen her do anything better than her. So I'm just like, look, y'all can say switch up the belt just because y'all want someone new, but it still has to feel valid, you know? Just like we want it, you know, in other sports. We hate seeing this person be the man for all this time. But at the same time, if you can't beat him, you can't beat him. It's just what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look at back in the day. Well, it was actually expected because this happened pretty often. Like back in the day when Hulk Hogan would hold on to the belt mm -hmm. for over four years or or uh, Bruno San Martino, like way back in the day. This is before I was even born. Held the title for almost eight years. And I'm not kidding. He held the WWF title for like seven and a half years straight in one reign. Now, granted, I know that was a different era. But thing was, nobody, nobody could beat him and nobody could outdraw him. Right. Mm -hmm. Nobody could right. outdraw him. That was the thing. So, so that was that was like or like in the NWA, Harley Race, he would have that title like seven times, and at least one or two of those times he held it for almost a year, if not over a year. Right. Year. He nobody could outdo and outdraw him. Well, right. actually, I and, know. And I, and I stand I, up and merit on. Huh? If you are not mm -hmm. better than this person, you have no business holding it. You have no business and on the side, near it. And on the side though, though, back in those days, wrestling was a little bit rougher. Sometimes people went into business for themselves and shot. That's the main, another main reason they kept it on Harley Race. Because they knew if somebody tried to shoot on him, they might be in for ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's every other sport. That's you know, main Tom reason. Brady. But if you that's can't beat side, him, man, you can't beat him. It's just that simple. Every other sport, if you can't beat the man, you can't beat the man. It's that simple. People hated Tom yeah. Brady being on top, but you couldn't beat him. You couldn't beat him. That's how it is, man. I mean, once you get to that upper, once you get to the upper echelon and you start dominating your sport, mm -hmm. people people hate that. Yeah. People hate when somebody is Steph Curry, but you couldn't beat him. So until you show you're better than the champ, you shouldn't be nowhere near that championship. It's just that simple. At, at least that's how my mind works. But, but that's yeah. Good. Or look, look at Ric Flair. Yeah, unless you're better than him, you shouldn't Over be around. Five times, at least one, one, one or two of those times he held the belt for over a year. They was nobody could be nobody could beat him. Well, plenty of people could beat Ric Flair in the ring. Thing is, nobody could outdraw him. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's bigger oh than God. just in ring ability. You know, that's why I always look at the overall picture of someone. But the overall picture is what Becky leaves that hole that's left in the roster. You know, the anti hero, stone cold Steve Austin of women is now gone. Mm -hmm. So that leaves a hole for someone else to step up. Then who's going to be the next <laughs> anti hero? Ed. What I'm looking at, you know, not not like Austin. <laughs> But maybe that CM Punk like female who's gonna uh, pop up. It it it'd be good to have AJ Lee right about now, huh? <laughs> yeah, and and when you think about it, with Becky Lynch mm -hmm. out of all, look, I'll just focus on the horsewomen that are in WWE. Of all the horsewomen, the only one even close to her level in terms of draw drawing power and being the man or the woman, what whatever you want to say, really is Sasha. Yep, the only one even close. Yeah, close to Beck in terms of the four horsewomen, because mm -hmm. Bailey, she's a good performer, but she's not a draw like that. Same can mm -hmm. be said about it, that certain which, role. Which, here. In evidence, I mean, as much as we try to argue with you about Charlotte, we've seen the ev the evidence is there. She's not a draw. No, she's a good performer. Don't get me wrong. You put her against somebody with name value, sh she can draw. But on her own, she doesn't draw. Becky Lynch, up until the pregnancy thing, she drew regardless of who you put in the ring with. Sasha, mm -hmm. And that's why I said Sasha Banks is the only one that's even close. I to have four names right Against anyone draws. I'm, I mean, my thing is, 
My thing is, I'm wondering what's next when how they're going to do the raw. What, what's going to happen with the raw roster? Because right now you have Oscar as champion, which is a good. It's a good. It's a good person to put in that role as that top person on that brand. I'm just wondering. This is now the point where you have to start building up that raw roster. You can't just go. Yeah. Okay, we lost. We lost Becky. We need to bring Charlotte back to back Hell. to raw. No. Hell no. no. You cannot. No, hold, up, hold up. Hold up. I hear what Larell's saying though. I'm not saying bring her back right now. No, don't bring her back right now. Mm-hmm. But I see her what he's saying. You You're can't have to because because right now, really, who other than maybe Shayna Baszler? Who do you have on that Raw women's roster that can beat, believably beat Oscar? No one. That's why, that's why you have to start building up women now. You have to build these girls up. You gotta reestablish Nia. You gotta reestablish. You gotta give Liv Morgan some shine. You gotta build some of these girls up. You know what and I'm thinking should happen? happen? The only one, the only one, maybe that might be an interesting match besides Shayna Baszler. You know, you know who's the only other one that might be an interesting match. Although I think she would lose lose uh, Kyrie. Y'all tripping, man? Kyrie? Just, no, 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 no. Just, Hell no. Because, just because the two. We're tag team partners. It could be interesting. No, I'm with you, Prince. Oh no! In the end, she gonna lose. Kyrie will she get gonna lose the Oscar going up against Oscar. In the end, and it ain't even huh? close. I say Kyrie will get smoked going against Oscar, and it's not even close because Kyrie's not a killer like Oscar is. So she can go out there, she can drop her elbow, but she gets smoked. Yeah, going. she doesn't have. Oh no, I'm not going. disagreeing with you. She would lose. Oh, without without question. She yeah, would that lose. Ain't, that ain't even. She would lose. lose. I'm not saying she would lose. I'm just saying the story could be interesting if you write it right. Man, oh, the match itself. Oh, the match itself. Oscar's winning. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> that should be like Lesnar Cena level beat down. It, it ain't even like Shane yeah. Baszler put up more. You all of a sudden, especially with this open, you know, crossover invitation stuff. If you all of a sudden, let's say Oscar need an opponent, and they brought up. For one match, Io Shirai, I still think Oscar wins, but that would be actually more interesting. It'd be more interesting, but she would still get smoked going up against Oscar. Like, or at least she should. On paper, she should get smoked. This is the th- this is the list I made because I was talking about who fills that anti-hero mm-hmm. void now that um now that Becky's gone. So I wrote down four names, but I'm going to scratch one off. And you probably immediately know who gets scratched off this list. So I wrote down Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, E.O. Shirai, and Mia Yim. Who immediately gets scratched off? You're talking about, so what's the question? So the void of the anti-hero of women is once again open. Who's going to be the next anti-hero out of these four? Liv, Rhea, E.O., or Mia? Now, who do we immediately eliminate? Fit that the best. I, I think, think Rita would fit that the best, actually. I don't know, man. Y'all just the two. theatricality of the whole thing, yeah. I, I, think, I was going to think Rhea. I was going to say Rhea. Rhea. I was going to say Rhea Ripley of those four. Yeah, Rhea's the whole solution to all this whole thing. Like Rhea's got yeah. the edge. She doesn't have to be happy, go lucky, caking with everybody. Yeah. Rhea, Rhea um, can fill that void, but have a different Rhea. flavor too. Mm-hmm. Right, and when and when I say this, I'm not saying she would beat Oscar. I'm not saying she should beat Oscar. But you mentioned Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley's the only one you could believably go into the match and be thinking, okay, Oscar might be in trouble. Right, right. I agree with that. We're not saying we're not saying call Rhea up now. No, y'all already fucked up by calling up Bianca so damn early, man. And no. And, if, and, and by the way, even though we love Bianca Belair's beautiful chocolate ass, <laughs> and we do, let's be honest, she ain't beat no Oscar. Nah, she's no. not. I'd love to see them in a match series, though, because of the things that both of them can do. Bianca, and I, I think not maybe we point. get the rise of Bianca. With Becky gone, maybe we get the rise of Bianca. Because Liv, we love Liv too, but she would get smoked. Everyone on that yeah. roster would get smoked going against Asuka, but Bianca they're low get destroyed. Like I said, the only one currently on the Raw roster that would that would 
yeah, Ruby Riot would get killed. No, the only no. one, Nia Jax, even though she's much bigger than Asuka, we've seen Asuka destroy her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On NXT. Nia so. could get maybe one win. Like if they if they went at it seven times in a seven match series, Nia would get one or two wins. But the rest of those oh, matches she'd get smoked going against Asuka. Yep. Maybe I'd, I'd give I I'd give Nia two just because of her size is a lot for Asuka to deal with. But other than that, she's she getting is. smoked. She's getting smoked. Once Asuka kicked them legs, that's it. Nia would yeah. get smoked going against back. Fact, like I said, nobody on that raw. I mean, the only one that would have a prayer. In fact, I don't even stand, stand it. Who on the women's roster? Period. As a prayer going against Asuka. Pray, prayer going against Asuka. We already said Rhea Ripley. Yeah, yeah. Sasha. Nia Nia Jax only because of her size. Right. Only because her size would present a problem. Um. Sasha Banks only because she just got that dog. Yeah, in her. She let's be that killer in her. We, where she would go her put the club. bank statement cross face in all kinds of ways. We seen her use yeah. with one bad arm and one of her legs put it on. So yeah. if anybody could make Oscar tap out, which which granted we've already seen it. And I know you're gonna call her roller. We've already seen it with mm-hmm. Charlotte. I wrote her name which, down. Her name goes Actually, that's the too. one I would like to see just because I want, but I'll be like, look, you better book Oscar the win. They're not going to. That's why I'm saying keep Chuck away from her. Keep Chuck as far away from her as possible, unless it's going to happen on a big stage. Put it on a big stage and maybe I'll cheer for it. But her just beating her on Raw, that, 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 that does. It's the same thing as yeah. Sasha beating Chuck on yeah, Raw. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does nothing. Name, yeah. off, name off women. Let's see. Bianca Belair, like I said earlier. I love, love, you, love you. Love your fine chocolate ass, but no. She ain't beating her. Zelina Vega, even though we know she could wrestle, would she get would smart. bring character to a to a match yeah. with Oscar, but she ain't winning. Uh Mandy yeah. Rose, love her fine snow bunny ass, but no, she ain't winning. Sonya Deville might would present a little bit of a problem, but no. not much. <laughs> nope. Not but she ain't winning. Uh Naomi, love her dark chocolate ass. She would she would actually give Oscar a bit of a battle, but I think she loses. Really? Oh, in a seven match series. This is what I got. Talk. And really there's nobody down in NXT. I know people say, Well, Charlotte's already been ever like, no. No, 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 no. In reality, Charlotte shouldn't beat her. I don't know about that. See, this is what I wrote. Seven match series, Sasha would get three matches, but ultimately lose. Rhea gets two, maybe three, but ultimately loses. Bianca would get two. Naomi gets one. And I wrote down Charlotte would get four. So Charlotte would win a series up against Oscar just because Charlotte has so many weapons, plus her size. Yeah, and that's, and her, that's one thing. Forget about Charlotte. Her size, the length, and the arsenal yeah, that Charlotte look had. Look at Ripley or Nia Jax. Charlotte is not a little woman. Nah. It's the arsenal she has, too. You can't take everything away from her. You know, just like uh, Charlotte took away uh, Rhea's legs, she couldn't do the um, riptide no more. Bianca, Bianca's athletic as hell, but I think the inexperience would fuck her up. Naomi... I don't know, man. Naomi's a question mark. I may be selling her short by saying she only gets one. But we've only seen her. She's only got one thing in her arsenal that could put Asuka away. And Asuka's too smart to fall for it again and again. Sasha is just a killer in her is why I'm giving her three. Yeah. But you're not yeah. going to bank statement Asuka no three times. You know, I don't see it happening. It's just going to figure she that has. out. Sasha's right. going to come forward in the bank state. Right. She's going to have to come with more than that. So two, maybe three for her. But Chuck, Charlotte Flair, she's got the best chance of ever beating Oscar just because of the arsenal she has. She's got Spear, you know, uh, what's that shit? Figure eight. She's got that. She's mm-hmm. got um, natural selection, the big boot. She's got all those moves in her arsenal that can put you away. So that's a lot yeah. to deal with, plus how long she is and how strong she is. Yeah, and she's underrated as far as that. Yeah, Those I give her credit. I don't. I still don't record. like her, but I give her credit on that. I give her credit yeah. on that. Yeah. Every time you see a Ripley or Shayna Baszler, 
or Nia Jax or even Bianca Belair as far as women with power, no one really thinks mm-hmm. of Charlotte. She it could. Really- she could, but it's not her style. But that's not saying she's not strong. She she's pretty damn strong, you know. Um, Bianca's stronger than uh, Charlotte, probably even more athletic. But like I said, it's just the inexperience, you know. It's still her rookie year, so I'd mm-hmm. see her getting smoked by Asuka. But the only reason I'm crossing off Charlotte is because keep her ass where she's at. Mm-hmm. And not gonna ride this out. No, because WWE seems to have this thing for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to see her ruin somebody's rise either. Yeah, for real. Give us the rise of Bianca or the rise of Liv. Give us Liv. Give Liv a chance to prove people wrong, man. Put her in a Shelton Benjamin situation yeah, uh, where he fought and trips I, and came so close. This we're talking best of best of the seven. You know your little hypothetical match. Which that, one? And this, and this is this is what it is to people listening. It is. It is Drew McIntyre of right now versus Nikita Koloff in his prime. Oh, that one, yeah. Best of seven. Prince says Drew takes maybe two, maybe three matches, but Koloff ends up winning. Which, by the way, on the side note, you know that Dark Side of the Ring spe- specials I've been what I love watching those programs. Yeah. This week we did the Road Warriors. And guess who showed up to talk about them? Um who? Uh Nikita. Really? Nikita Koloff, huh? Mm-hmm. And talked in his real voice too. Cause it, cause I mean he might have Russian heritage, but he's not really Russian. He's actually yeah. American. Yeah, you said, exactly. you, said he's, you said he's from but Wisconsin, right? Huh? You said he's from Wisconsin, right? Yeah, he's from <laughs> out in the Midwest, like Minnesota. Uh, yeah, in fact, you know how they say Road Warriors is from Chicago, Illinois? That's actually just Cave Fave hometown. Road Warriors is actually from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, I see Princeton disappeared for a minute. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Prince, you yeah, oh. but but yeah, but yeah, the key to shows up on this week's Dark Side of the Ring with the Road Warriors. This may be the first one Road that Warriors. I'm actually interested in. Like all the other stuff, I was like, "Look, man, I'm tired of hearing about Chris Benoit, so I'm not watching that shit." You know, I mean the Ben the Benoit documentary was interesting. Oh, Benoit! Was, yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just tired of hearing about it. You know, we've been hearing about this yeah, for like 13, 14 years. I, I, I'm just tired of hearing about it. I get it, but yeah, the Benoit one was heartbreaking, man. It was. That one was heartbreaking. At the at the this one, yeah, this one I'm a bit intrigued. One, all I'm gonna say is you would love the New Jack one. The New Jack one is just. Wow. <laughs> it sounds a lot like uh, what we know about New Jack. Yeah, but, you would love the New Jack one. Um, what, else, what else they covered this season so far? Oh, the Superfly Jimmy Snooker murder of Nancy Argentino. That one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Snooker did that shit. You know, you know how they always say, oh, whether OJ did it or didn't do it. Mm-hmm. But we, pro- we know more than likely he did it. Oh yeah, Snooker did that mess. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about that one. He just never legally went to jail for it, right? But uh, and then the, the Doctor D one about him, um, basically um, shoot slapping um John uh John Stossel <laughs> on national television. <laughs> oh, <laughs> when dude said dude said to his face. Oh, well, I think wrestling's fake. And he said, oh, is that right, boy? Is that fake? Is that fake, man? He basically smacked the crap him on that. No telling <laughs> <laughs> And it wasn't scripted either. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm looking I mean, at it was, it was It was not funny, but it kind of was. <laughs> I'm looking at Asuka as champion. And my question uh, is, 
Who should be the first challenger? Who y'all got? Oscars. If it's not Shayna Baszler, you mean first big challenger, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. First big challenger will, will have will probably be Shayna. But if but as far as just first challenger period, hmm, random challenger. Uh, that's on that's that's on Raw right now. Mm, maybe Liv Morgan, maybe Nia Jax. I'm saying give it to Liv. If I had to pick, I would pick Liv. I would give Liv her little yeah. Shelton Benjamin moment like he had against Triple H when his first match. Let Liv yeah. get oh. some shine, man. Actually, I thought you was going to say Sean. What, what, what's the question? Who should Asuka's first challenger be? Yeah, no. I said oh. first big challenger. Big challenger, Shayna. I agree. But as far as big. challenger, period, I said either Li- Liv Morgan, maybe Nia Jax. I think first challenger for Asuka, probably Liv or Nia. See, I removed all of Nia. <laughs> I, I take Kyrie before but, Nia. But, but, um, but yeah, what you just said, yeah, give her that Sheldon Benjamin moment, like yeah. with Triple H. I, I was thinking more of Sheldon Benjamin moment, like with Shawn Michaels. See, I think of Tris because Tris was the world champion, and HBK it was just it well, was just no, a match. Just lost the world title. Who? Nah, I That's thought the, Tris was the champ when that happened. Mm-mm. He had just lost the world title to Ben Barr. He, huh. he had just he just lost the world title. Huh. Okay. But he was still, you know, but it was still a big match. Yeah, yeah, because you know, Shelton was but that. the one I tend to yeah. remember that, so the one on the side note, since we're bringing up Shelton Benjamin, the one I thought really should have made him a star afterwards was, was actually the one with Shawn Michaels. You're talking about the one from 2005? Yeah. Yeah, the one where he got super kicked to hell when he came up the top. I thought the man killed him. I thought the brother was dead. I really yeah. did. I thought the Still brother was it. dead. I was like, oh, yeah. shit, he's got to be dead. He's got to be dead. I was like, oh, no, still that's- no, that's still the greatest super kick ever that Sean ever did. It's that one. <laughs> man, hopefully Liv watching tape of that, man, because if they give Liv a shot, she got to knock it out the ballpark like Shelton did at that moment. She got to knock it out the ballpark because... Yeah, even though, even though Shelton lost, people were walking away from that match talking about Shelton, right. even though he lost. And that's yeah. what Liv Morgan needs. She needs that right now. She does. Because she it's still like... Look- if we were to hold up Liv Morgan right next to Carmella, who's better than you? At this point, even though I love Liv Morgan, you would probably think Carmella. 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 And that's because Liv hasn't really gotten a chance to get her shine on and show what she can do. So yep. they give her this chance now, she got to knock it out the ballpark. I'm thinking yep. Liv because it'll be something different. We've seen Asuka fight Nia before. Shayna, she's she's gonna be big man on campus, you know. Even though she should get smoke going against Asuka, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm cool with it, how they do it, regardless. You know, if they give it to Shayna, it's like, well, Shayna did choke the fuck out of her in the elimination chamber, so you can go yeah. with that. But personally, I like to see Asuka get somewhat of a long reign, and I hope they don't push the panic button and bring Charlotte back because Charlotte, like I said, she's like HIV no. man. You can't no, get rid of her, man, and she just ruins went, everything. Yeah. You should have never went to NXT to begin with, but since you got her down there, mm-hmm. leave her down, down there. there. Yeah, yeah, keep her down keep there. Keep her down there. Down there. Yeah, they don't need to hit the panic button and bring her back. Not right, right now. No. Not right now. Mm-hmm. Not when you got Chelsea Green down there. You still got... There's someone down there who could use that rub. I would have hoped it would have been Mia Yum, but they didn't want to do that. You know, if not Mia Yum, then there's a lot of other people. I mean, to Tanera to, to Conti, don't she still got a job? Nope. She got oh, released. Damn, never mind. Her fine ass. Um, we have fine Brazilian ass. Fine ass, released. yeah. <laughs> Her, uh, but they got people down there who can use that rub, man. Don't just have Chuck on this undefeated Goldberg streak and then she come back. I want all the gold, even though you didn't had all the gold. Go be a tag champ. 
go take one of them bomb MMA chicks and uh, mm-hmm. put them on. The only one, yeah, I was like, yeah, the only one that can stand teaming with you is now going to have a baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But let, let's imagine this. She loses the NXT title back to Rhea Ripley, for example. And then Charlotte still wants on this all the gold tip, and somebody brings up to her, "Well, you've never held the tag team belts. Mm-hmm. Who since since the one person that's gone, who in real life is actually her best bud, is gone to have a baby uh, in Becky Lynch? Who could you see teaming with Charlotte? You know, forget about you know there'll be friction and all that. I'm talking about potentially." Who could take the belts off of with 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 Charlotte off of Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross? The sad part is Charlotte by herself could beat both of them. <laughs> That's the sad part. But if she had to have a partner, uh Dana Brooke needs to just stay Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke's been knocking it out the park. People need to leave her alone. Dana Brooke been doing dope stuff. So I didn't Dana, speak to Dana, speak to Dana Brooke. Yeah, speaking of Dana Brooke, I don't know why Jim Cornette brought up the fact that she has had plastic surgery. That yeah, was we so know that half the, the chicks on the roster had that. Had plastic surgery. Yeah, that was gone, man. And, and and at least at least Dana Brooke looked like you know I like you know I don't mind plastic surgery, but I like it to work. If you didn't tell me you had had plastic surgery, if you didn't tell me. That I could probably believe you was born with that body. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dana Brooke looked like she was born with that body. So I don't even be looking at it like that. So I didn't even know she had plastic surgery until someone mentioned it. And I think there was mm-hmm. someone else on the roster where I didn't know it. But I mean, born. but, but you going on Dana Brooke, you got to go in on Charlotte. Yep, got going on Charlotte. You got to go in on Trish Stratus. You got going on a lot of people, man. Yeah. So. It just, like I gotta say, it was just something like it was just like, man, whatever, man. He didn't have to go there with her, man. Plus, she did everything right in that match. So I was like, why even go with her? If anything, go with mm-hmm. the only for doing part, the movie part, part it was when she grabbed that uh, briefcase with Buddy, think it was Buddy in the bank, and then Stephanie informed her, no. The real beef briefcase on, is on the bro, real That wasn't goofy, man. Because for a split second, they made yeah, it believe it was, was the money goofy. in the bank. But there's one thing she should have did. When Stephanie mm-hmm. told me that, like, oh, okay. Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, Miss McMahon, is this yeah. real money? I'd be like, oh, shit, I'm taking this. <laughs> Fair, <laughs> man. I, I'm taking so, this. I'm and- giving her a pass for that, man. Because again, when she grabbed the briefcase for a split second, we thought it was the money bag, and we were pissed off. We were like, "Oh, this some bullshit, man!" And then you know, stuff. <laughs> so I'm giving her a pass for that. She made you believe it was really the money in the bank. Mm-hmm. Hey, but would you have kept that briefcase anyway? You know what I would have did with that shit. <laughs> you know what I would have mm-hmm. did with that. Shit, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even be in the match no more. <laughs> I would have went to the damn ground flow and went and chilled somewhere with the money. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, oh, oh, Stephanie would have been like, "Oh, the real briefcase is at the, the real briefcase is at the top." I'm like, "Oh, thanks for telling me. I'm keeping this briefcase though." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go downstairs, put it in my car, and then if y'all still fighting, I'm gonna get on the elevator and get to the top. Hell yeah! Walk out with some money and the title shot. Mm hmm. You, you can't tell me she couldn't have gotten the elevator, went to the bottom of the floor, threw it in her car, and then just came back upstairs and grabbed it. How long that match took? So. Mm hmm. So I'm I'm but, good with it. But uh, what was gonna what was gonna say? Uh, yeah, partners. I'm partners. Gonna play with Charlotte. Yeah, and I'm just gonna throw out name. I'm just gonna throw out names. Um, Charlotte and Nia. That could work. That could. Okay. Yeah, that actually could work. Charlotte and Naomi. Weird, but it could work. 
Plus, it'd be nice to see Naomi be a champion and treat it like a champion. So, it'd be weird, though. I can't see uh, it, but I also, I'm not going to shoot it down and say it'd be a bad idea. Yeah, I'm just throwing out random names. If you was to put Charlotte to go for the women's tag team titles, who could you see as her p- partner? Partner, and how devastating or how weak or whatever the team, but I'm just throwing out random names. Okay, I'm going to pick one that probably would not last, but Charlotte and Sasha. Hell no. 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 <laughs> No. Hold up, 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 hold up. No, Prince, let me hold up. Can I can I can I let me say this? Y'all about to entertain this shit. I'm not gonna say no. I I'm not gonna say here's what I was gonna say. Charlotte and Sasha do have a history together as as team. Remember when when remember when they were paired up with Summer Ray back in NXT? That's true. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing this. Summer Sa- Sa- Sasha and Charlotte, honestly, as a heel tag team, would be pretty interesting. That's like putting The Rock and Triple H on the same team. You're like, you're just why? Just why? Better comparison. That's like putting Jesus and Satan on the same team. Yeah, it ain't or, even. Or Moses and David. It don't even same. look right, bro. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Okay. I mean, uh, I mean, okay. I mean, he wouldn't be for long. I said not for long, but I'm saying... But you can, I could see it. I would who, have how would you off. even convince Sasha to do it? She's already been a tag champion. Yeah, or let's see. Who else? That's put true. Her with Natty. Put her with Natty. Fuck. Just put her with Natty. Oh, God. <laughs> the egos would, would destroy that one. I'll give Natty a cat. Just put her with Natty. <sighs> okay, here, here, here's another one. Um, Charlotte and Bailey. Nah, it's just weird. Yeah, that's weird. weird. Be. Because again, that. Bailey's already been a tag champ. So how do you even convince yeah. her to do it? Yeah, it's true. Um, okay, Charlotte and Bianca Belair. That makes more sense than her and Sasha. Makes a lot more sense because they both have the same damn gimmick for the most part. Genetically superior and an EST is the same damn thing. Charlotte and Bianca, maybe. Yeah, that's a maybe. It makes more sense than, the, than a lot of the other ones. Natty, I could see Bianca to a degree. I could see. Okay. Charlotte and Shayna. That's just weird. <laughs> Shayna's just, she's just a solo alpha type chick. And Chuck in her own way, she's supposed to be the queen. I, I don't see that. that. That's as weird as Becky teaming up with her. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Charlotte and, and I'm just picking a wild thing. She's not in WWE right now. But what if I saw crazy circumstance Charlotte challenges for the tag team title she said I got my partner and quite frankly at one time I had a group that did this the four horse women but in truth there's only one woman in this world that could be my equal that could be my tag team partner and here she is and out comes Tessa Blanchard that would be perfect Uh, actually It'd be perfect. That would be perfect. And again, you know, I don't trust Shard to cut a promo that damn good. You know, but ah, yeah. ah, ah, ah. well, it, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> but it, it'd be it'd be a good pairing, even though it's impossible to do. Um, that but. I mean, I would. My, I mean, Charlotte and Tessa would make the most sense considering the history. Yeah. But egos would kill that team real quick. That that team would it would die a very quick death. I mean, you can see them together for a couple of months, but then a eventually weeks, those two... Maybe two weeks at the most, because as like, soon as Charlotte try to pull rank, the, I'm Rick and you Tully. I, I, I don't think Tessa going for that shit. I don't see it. Here's the thing. 
I mean, if I mean, Charlotte and, and Tessa as a tag team could work, but eventually it would lead to a feud. It's, it, those two can't be together for so long. They're just two polar opposites. Charlotte gonna be fixing her role just like my daddy. What your daddy do? Ha ha ha! And Tessa gonna probably slap the shit out of her. Like I said, I see it working two weeks, maybe a month at the longest, just because of the two egos involved. But it would be dope mm-hmm. to see. It would be dope to see both of them on the team together. The only way uh, it works is if you bring here, the red going back red uh, in the background. Okay. Charlotte and Mia Yim. No. No. That's a big no. No. Charlotte and Eo Shirai. No. Eo You know what? Here. Here's here is one that would be interesting. Here's one I got. What about? And I've always, whenever these two have interactions with each other, I can imagine them as an entertaining heel tag team. One ha- one is more. One has the personality, and the other has the in ring talent. So you mash them together, they can kind of cover up each other's weaknesses. What about Charlotte Flair and Alexa Bliss? Ooh, too much ego. That, yeah, ego would eventually ego get that. One. But but yeah, at the beginning, yeah, actually, Bliss would do I, it I think, because of the I, manipulation I, stuff. But I think ego would kill that in less than three months. Yeah, because Charlotte, she ain't dumb. She gonna be like, oh, I see what you're doing, Alexa. Charlotte ain't dumb. She'd figure it out quick. What was going on? Yeah. Okay. Unless you have a third person there to kind of mediate that thing, that shit would blow up real quick. Okay. I mean, Try this one. Try this one. Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross coming to the ring. Charlotte comes to tag. So I said, you know what? I decided to go unconventional. And I convinced my tag team partner, who is somebody that I've had some of my greatest rivalry matches against most people are going to think it's going to be either Becky Lynch or maybe even Sasha Banks. What if out came Rhea Ripley? The Rebel Rhea Ripley teaming up with Charlotte? That would be weird. That would be weird. That would be too weird. weird. Because they're both alphas. That's the issue. They're both alphas when it comes to stuff. Uh... But but in all honesty, the only way Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss are winning is if somehow that team implodes. Because on paper, and I'm sure you guys will agree with me on this, on paper they should get destroyed. <laughs> Shit. On paper, half the teams they fought should destroy them. The Kabuki Warriors should smoke them, to be honest. But it's just That's true. That's just, true. Yeah, it's just what it is, you know. Well, yeah. I want to say a congratulations to Becky, and you can take a very, very big victory lap knowing that you beat Ronda Rousey at something else. Having a kid. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. No, he did. That's he right. Did. She left the business talking about, oh, me and Travis are about to make a baby. Well, apparently Travis is shooting blanks, or he ain't yeah. penetrating deep enough. But Seth Rollins, he curb stomped the Irish cream. <laughs> yeah. He curved yep. up the Irish cream. Stop, yeah. the old content. <laughs> Becky about to got a bun in the oven. It's about to pop. Meanwhile, Rhonda shoot. Shoot. R- Rhonda's like, like, oh, uh, shoot. Travis must be shooting blanks. <laughs> Yeah, we're just joking, by the way. we just joking, by the way. Just want to put that out there. But, man, Seth said he was going to lock this shit like down in. So. <laughs> Seth wasn't playing around, man. He told us like a year ago. He said, I'm putting this shit on lock, man. Seth ain't playing around. <laughs> Seth is not playing around. That man said, I'm as serious as the corona. Don't they call the around. Jesus. Apparently, apparently, what must must have what turned him on was Becky was the only one that probably could hang with him. Mm. Seth was like, not playing around. <laughs> he was not, not playing, playing around. He was like, "Oh, shoot, 
Mm-mm. He was like, oh, this woman can hang with me. So let me see what else she about. Seth crushing dreams, man. He crushed so many people. People's dreams, man. That shit that's probably weird. why. That's probably why a lot of these dudes, dudes on the IWC and stuff, so mad because now he just destroyed their fantasy. And they always get mad like that when Xavier Ru- Woods ruined the page fantasy for a lot of these fools and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and may I know? And may I know? In both cases, it was men of color. <laughs> 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 I, maybe that's oh oh I may have just I, I don't want to be Dr. Uwa or Tariq the Thief but, <laughs> but maybe I just stumbled on something maybe that's why they're so bad <laughs> that's fucked up that's fucked up. That's why that's they so bad. That's funny, but it's fucked up. Yeah, the same time, yeah. funny, probably fucked up and probably in. true. He <laughs> probably put the Latino heat on that Irish coffee. Yeah, the same way had. Xavier Woods <laughs> Black Page <laughs> Black Page <laughs> Oh man But yeah they just hating on Seth probably a little bit man they Yeah they, they just hate Yeah they and hate do you me. think and excuse and you know cause I try to watch you know because of my professional life I try to watch my language but I'm gonna say it right here right here do you think right now Seth gives a fuck? No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> I guarantee he probably plowing her right now as we speak. Hey, I if you ever had a woman while she's pregnant, ooh. Ooh. I all, I say is, all I gotta say is you gotta have it once. You gotta have a pregnant woman one time in your life. Ooh, all I'm gonna say, I'm keeping it as clean as I can. But oh, mm, that mm, that is so good. You wouldn't really? think it would be, but <laughs> yeah, you know, that's interesting. Yeah, he that probably. Right now, as we speak, I'm I'm gonna play that uh subject very close to the chest. But uh, yeah, you, you would play that subject pretty close to the chest, Prince. Yeah, you, you, why you would. Right, right, right. Yeah, y'all know me. I don't like to comment on certain things. Yeah. But okay. Any words or um? I'm any last thoughts much. on it? Any thoughts on what? Any last thoughts on Becky being pregnant in the aftermath that it leaves? My last thoughts is uh, Becky Lynch herself being pregnant. Hey, the timing sucks, but hey, sometimes in life, the best things come unexpectedly. So good luck. Good luck to Rebecca Quinn, a.k.a. Becky Lynch, and to Seth Rollins, who was planning on getting married anyway. Mm. Anyway, but now it'll be even more beautiful because now your union is already producing life to put on this earth and hopefully it's a be- it will grow to be a beautiful life that brings yeah. joy and some positivity into the world now on the other subject how it affects oh it's going to affect particularly the raw roster and I think it's going to shake up the women's division in general across all three brands it's going yeah. to shake but specifically it's going to shake up raw now, Oscar being the champion, I have no problem with that, but we'll see what they do with it. All I got to say is, Vince, get your head out your ass and give that woman a quality reign. She hasn't had a good reign in NXT. Yeah. See, I guess I'll go next. We'll let uh, we'll let the Becky aficionado go last, but all I got is two things to say. Number one, congratulations. And number two, Keep Charlotte in NXT. Keep her ass down there. Don't let her <laughs> woman shit even further. <laughs> Real, what you got? Um, me? I'm saying, um, my opinion, my thing, I'm just like, as a Becky Lynch fan, I'm like, if that woman that does not come back at all, oh, that woman has had a hell of a run. 
she has, man. She's accomplished a lot in only seven years, basically. So, and I'll always be a fan. She's brought a lot of great memories to memories to me, and I'm, it's amazing to see how far she came from from what she was back in 2013 to where she where she was before she left. Yeah. So, so it's amazing to see where she came. Well, we got to pick up Rhea on the team, I guess now, Rel. <laughs> She's next in line, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm surprised you didn't say your Charlotte joke, Prince. Nah, I, I, I don't talk because the more I talk about her, what, the more what, I talk. what? What? I'm surprised you did, you ain't going right now. Go and dry day. Oh Go yeah. Nah, I day. think that would have been too mean. I already Go wrote it, you know. Dry what I mean. day. I wrote it. <laughs> hey, that that was the only mark of anger I had. I was like, why couldn't you get Charlotte pregnant so she would go away, man? <gasps> like, damn, we, 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 we at least enjoy seeing Becky. You could have left her there, but damn, come on, Andrade, man. For once, I'm cheering for you, brother. Yeah, uh, uh, Prince is hoping that Andrade gets Charlotte pregnant so she can go away for a while. Yeah. Uh, or just take a vacation, yeah. man. I don't yeah, fucking yeah, know, yeah. man. Just, just keep Andrade. Just stay off the juice for a minute. <laughs> oh, God, I'm let, not going let, there. Let, I tried to not go there. Yeah, I ain't going let, 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 let the stuff down below recover. You, you're still young, so <laughs> don't be like superstar Billy Graham. Be able to still go, but you, you ain't. You're shooting blank, so. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> hey, dog! No, them steroids messed him up, man. For real talk about Billy Graham. I mean, superstar Billy Graham. Mm. Them steroids jacked him up. You see the shape he in there? Man, <laughs> I'm laughing, but that ain't really funny, man. It's kind of sad because yeah. you look at how he looked in his prime, and then you see him now. I mean, good grief! I mean. At least the people that get old that was muscular when they was young, you can still tell they have a little bit of it. Like when you see Road Warrior Animal, for example, mm-hmm. you can stay still tell he ain't what he was, but you can still tell he kind of still big. Or Nikita Koloff, he's still kind of still in shape. Shape, but Superstar Billy Graham, he looks totally different from what he looked when he looked in his prime. Yeah. Them stero- stay off the juice. Yeah. Before you look like Billy Graham or worse yet, Ben Wall. Man. Mm-hmm. Damn, man. I mean, just take a vacation. I understand it's COVID 19. They just lucky to have you there right now, Chuck, but people need to miss you, man. Just like they need to meet Miss Triple H when he hurt his leg. They had to miss him to appreciate him. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Go take a trip to Jamaica, Virgin Islands. Go hang out in Mexico because you love it so much. But, man, take a breather, bro. Because, ooh, this whole... It's not everything she does. It's its the world around her that, that does crazy shit, man. You know? It's not Jay-Z. So it's Dame Dash, basically, man. It's not what Jay's what doing. Mean? It's what Dame Dash is doing. It's the fact what that... You mean? It's the world around her. What do you mean? I mean, management, man. We didn't even get Bianca versus Rhea in a series because you came down there, and they got mad because oh. Bianca was out shining your ass. That, and, and, okay, I get what you're saying. It's not her fault. It's the yeah, it's not her fault. Her. It's just, yeah. it always, it's always her. She's always the thing that causes these things that fucks everything up, man. Uh-huh. So she's the catalyst for everything fucked up that happens. Or at least she's connected to it. So, yeah. take a vacation, man. <laughs> or Andrade, you need to put in some more work, bro. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> man, 